Jerry Allison, a legend in the music game and innovator, co-founder of Buddy Holly and the Crickets, Buddy Holly's best friend, passed away at the age of 82 years old last Monday. He was the last surviving member of Buddy Holly and the Crickets, uh, Buddy obviously passing away due to the plane crash years and years and years ago, Joe B passing away a couple years ago. Jerry was a uh, Jerry was full of life. I love watching his interviews. I love watching him talk. He, of course, co-found and co-wrote uh, That'll Be the Day, While well, All Right, Peggy Sue, which he actually would go on to marry Peggy Sue, Peggy Sue Guerin. They were together for nine years. Of course, being a big Buddy Holly and the Crickets fan, I absolutely love his interviews. I could watch them all day. Yo, before this video resumes, I want to let you know that YouTube keeps telling me that most of my audience has not subscribed to my channel yet, so if you have not already, I would greatly appreciate if you do. Hit the bell if you would like, but subscribe is the most important one. Leave a comment down below, let me know who you'd like for me to cover next, and I will gladly get to it. Even while losing his best friend Buddy, he found a way to stay in the music business for years and years and years, all the way up until his death just last week. He would often do interviews and still play alongside his friend Sonny Curtis and of course Joe B. Malden up until his death just a few years ago. Jerry would actually spend six months with Gary Busey who was on his way to play Buddy Holly in the Buddy Holly story, helping him perfect the role like he did. It's hard to imagine a Buddy Holly in the Crickets without Jerry Allison, you know, and all these years later with the interviews and the insight and the memories, the guy was a true class act, a true legend in the game of music and someone who will live on forever. Rest in peace to the legendary Jerry Allison.